Okay, so basically we want to take and surgically alter the example file in um, Atmel Studio for the um, for the smaller display. It was using the SSD 1306 driver chip, and we want to surgically alter that so that we can drive the New Haven um, larger display to 256 by 64, but using the same example project to try and understand. Um, um, how they're using the, the C programming, um, you know, the details of uh, how they're using it and, and implementing it. So initially you have to um, find out uh, when you went into the start configurator page and you picked your pins to drive, um, to drive the board, um, those are stored in the Atmel start pins header file. So you can go down here and you can see the chip select pin, the reset pin, the data command pin. These are all being assigned. I'm using the X Pro board. Um, so that's what I picked uh, were pins on that uh, board. And that's what you see here. So the chip select is assigned to port A, a pin zero. Um, actually, this is wrong. It was assigned down here. You look down here. Port. Uh, let me see. Uh, the reset pin was assigned to port A, pin 27 on the X Pro board. The, the Miso, which we're not using, uh, is assigned to pin 16 because we're not reading from the display. You can't read from it. Um, and then the chip select pin is on uh, port B17, MOSI port B22, source clock port B23. Anyways, this is where you'll find the listings for how your pin assignments and then I connected up the uh, New Haven display uh, pins to these pins on the X-Pro board then trying to find how this is initialized um, like um, let me see uh, the New Haven uh, yeah the initialization sequence uh, for the SSD t uh, 1322 is, a, is similar to the 1306, but it's a little different. And I was trying to find where this is initialized in the example program so that I can alter the 1306 and my initialization sequence to this one. So I'm going to your main program. Um, where the example program here calls uh, uh, the functions to draw a rectangle and then inside the rectangle it's going to draw a string or print out a string, the, uh, the string up here, the hello world string. So we can just go, uh, forget about the uh, rectangle or drawing the rectangle, let's keep it simple. Let's go right to drawing the string because that's what I want to do on the larger display. So um, going to this function, right click, go to its implementation. Usually I have two files. One is the implement actual function and the other one's the, uh, the prototype for the function. Not always, but often. Okay, so here we have our um, GFX model text draw string function that is called and um, Okay, already I'm on the wrong track. Let's back it up. <clears throat> okay, back to the main, your main function. Um, we don't want to go to the uh, the function call here for the rectangle and the, the text draw because um, we want to go to the um, uh, GFX model initialization function. Okay, so this is this is this one's included, and in, as part of the example program so right click on this one go to it and here we have all the initializations of the um, of the data the structures and I was trying to find the initialization function and it's buried in here and under this UG 2832 H Swaggle for constructing constructor. I guess it's constructing these structures. 
Um, and there's, uh, you'll have, you know, here you see the SPI. Here uh, they're setting the um, chip select reset and data control pins. But also, let's right click on this. Okay, here's here it is. Here's the function here. And if you go down to uh, where is it? Display struct. I uh, go down to uh, SSD 1306 construct. We're going to right click on that. It's implementation. And then you see down here SSD 1306 initialization. Now, right click on that. And here you'll see finally all the parameters being set up um, for the 1306 chip that we want to set up here for the 1322. So they are all set um, down in this function here. Um, you, you notice you have your hard reset. Um, so you're going to pull your reset pin low, reset the entire uh, chip, and that'll uh, and that'll set it at the initial um, conditions uh, for the, the 1322. So I can go over later. Um, but anyways, you, know, you can see them all listed here. Uh, for you setting the multiplexer ratio, display offset, your start line, blah blah blah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I try getting into the details of that, all this later. But I believe this is going to be uh, what I'm going to initially um, start to um, to reconfigure um, to the parameters that I want for the uh, for the. Um, I don't know, you can see I've already been playing here. I've been commenting out stuff and adding in some of my own commands here by changing the defines from the SSD 1306 and just you know putting in my own new defines. Uh, for the hex command bit that we send, because remember these are command um, command hex numbers, not bits. Command uh, bytes, command bytes, and uh, we pull that, or we change that data command pin to either data or command. So it's going to be changing it to command initially, so we can set up all these parameters to configure um, our chip, our display. Um, uh, so this is what. Can initially modify, like I said, modify in order to, um, you know, try and get this display turned on. Try to get some command, some command of this display, and see uh, see what's going on.